Hello friends and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. It is summer here in New York and that means it's heirloom tomato season. I was at the farmer's market this weekend and the joint was jumping. And the first thing I noticed was the heirloom tomatoes are here. Now I love a good heirloom tomato and one of my favorite recipes on this channel is for an heirloom tomato pie, which I'll put a link up there and down in the description. But today I'm going to make an heirloom tomato classic with a twist. Um, I really didn't think it was necessary for me to make a video for you on how to make a sandwich. But that is what I'm going to do because it has come to my attention that a lot of people do not avail themselves of this incredible summer delight. Here we have this beauty. She is gorgeous. If when you're shopping for heirloom tomatoes, it's not fully ripe, don't fret. Just leave it out on the counter or better yet, on a windowsill by the sun. And in a day, maybe two, it'll be perfection. Now I'm using my trusty tomato knife and we're just going to cut the top off. And you may be thinking to yourself, Anita, do I really need a tomato knife? You do. If you've lived without one this long, you could probably do without, but I love mine and they're very affordable. I'll put a link for one of these down in the description as well. Um, this one was like $50, but I will find one that is less expensive. So I'm just gonna pop this in my Lomi. That's my countertop um, food composter. And now we're just going to slice this nice and thin. Because when you bite into it, you wanna be able to bite through it so that it doesn't come careening off your sandwich because nobody wants that. Okay, gorgeous. Uh, you don't want to keep your tomatoes in the refrigerator. They do not like the cold and they don't taste as good when you go to eat them. However, once you've cut it, you do. So I'm going to take this, put it face down on a plate and just cover it and keep that in the fridge. One of the most important ingredients in a classic tomato sandwich is the bread. You can't just use plain white bread. I mean, forget it. This is whole wheat sourdough and it's toasted because you want a little crunch. Now, your classic sandwich, you just put mayo on it, but uh, that's not my jam. Why be dull? Instead, we're going to use pesto. Mm. Um, if you are a vegan and you want to enjoy the sandwich, I have a delicious vegan pesto recipe on the channel up in the corner. You can find that link. If you're a vegetarian, you're good to go with regular pesto. Regular pesto is not vegan because it has cheese in it. Okay, so I'm just going to put pesto on our bread and lay the tomato on top. We'll give it just a little zhuzh of salt, some pepper, and if you want to make it pretty, a little basil on there. That looks nice. Now, if you really want to go crazy, you can throw on a slice of cheese, maybe some caramelized onions. Mwah. I eat it just like this, but if you're not an open-faced sandwich kind of person, put on the top. That's it. This is your classic heirloom tomato sandwich with a twist. So simple, but so delicious. I hope you try it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, become a subscriber, and leave a comment for me. I will write back to you. Join me again next time right here at home with Anita Rosner. 
Thanks for watching.